Savoy opened uh, on Columbus Avenue. It was at the corner of uh, Columbus and West Newton Street. It stayed there for a few years and then it moved to Mass Avenue. A few years ago, I asked Vinnie Haynes, the drummer, the brother of the uh, great drummer Roy Haynes, I said, okay, Vinnie, it's 1940. I'm standing on Mass Avenue. Let's walk down the street and tell me what we found. So he started me off and said, okay, let's be right across the street from Symphony Hall, uh, across the street from the Christian Science Building. He said, right there is where the Roseland Ballroom stood. Mm -hmm. If you've seen the movie of Malcolm X or read his autobiography, that's the ballroom that Malcolm X talked about going to. It was right there on that corner. He said, if we continue going away from Cambridge, walking down uh, Mass Avenue, uh, right past, between, uh, say, uh, what is that, St. Paul and Columbus Avenue, we would come to where Savoy uh, moved to, 410 Columbus Avenue. And he said there was a record shop there that all of the high school kids used to go into. And of course, in those days, you'd go in, go listen to the music. I, I'm so told. <laughs> so I told you, you could go in and listen to the music there. And he said that's the place where all the high school kids would go and listen to the music. He, uh, uh, we walked, he said, let's walk down a little further. Oh, I went down too far. I skipped the street. Huntington Avenue. If you went up Huntington Avenue just past Symphony Hall, uh, right next to Symphony Hall was the Raymore Playmore Ballroom. Uh, there was another ballroom on that same side of the street. There were almost exactly, uh, exact opposite side of the street on uh, Huntington Avenue. There were several places that featured music. Some of these places were not integrated. Others were integrated. Some places had colored lights, uh, and some were all white. But there were all of these musical activities that were going on right there. There is a sad note, uh, something that happened uh, to an extremely influential uh, musician right here in Boston, although there's an upside to the story, too. At uh, Huntington and, and uh, West Newton Street, Mechanics Hall used to stand right there. And in 1917, uh, a man who was known for leading what they called syncopated orchestra, one of the pre predecessors of jazz, James Reese Europe, came to play a concert there. He was scheduled to dedicate the statue to the, uh, the troop that was featured in Glory, the Newton Glory, right across, right across the street, the, the statue right there across from uh, the State House. Right. He was stated, uh, supposed to dedicate that statue, but when he played the concert that night, the drummer, and he got into an argument, the drummer cut his throat right there in Boston. He didn't think it was going to be that bad. He told, Noble 